This lesson, we're going to be looking at function scope. So global scope of variables and values and local scope of variables and values. So the, really the difference between the scope is where the value of the variable is declared. So we see in this case that we've got a variable A and we've equaled it to hello. And then we've got a variable B with this one. This one is only living within the function. So we can console log out A plus B while we're in the function. So we invoke the function and everything is great. We'd see hello world. But then when we do console log B, and this is trying to get a variable that lives within the function and we're not able to access it because we see B is not defined. So the thing that is happening here is this is having to do with the scope of the variables. So the way that variables work and within functions, you can access the value only within the block of code or its parent. So if this particular variable is not declared and we've got our root scope here, so the A is on the root and we're trying to look for B on the root as well. And the reason we're not able to find B is that it's not on the root and it's not on the parent and the root doesn't have a parent. So that's why we're not able to find any value for B. Whereas within the function, we look for B and then we've got console log A plus B. So JavaScript first looks for this block of code within the function and it sees no A there. So it automatically reverts back to the parent and it looks for that same variable being defined within the parent and if we had another parent and another parent, it would continuously look into the parents until it actually found that variable. And if the variable was not there, then it would still show us that undefined. So that's how the scope works. And I'll give you a quick example of that and the way that that can work. So if we set up a variable and we've got a value of five for A, and then within test, we can console log out A, and then we invoke test, you can see that the value of A gets placed within the function. Now, what happens if we take A and if we redeclare it only within the function itself? And remember, we're still outputting A within the console. So this actually leads to two different A's. And as mentioned earlier, the way that JavaScript will work is it will look for A within the current block and if it finds it, then it will use this value of A. So even if we try to get a value of A before we declaring it, we see that it's not declared because it doesn't go to the parent. It knows that we've got a value of A that is within this block, but we know that it isn't declared first. So we need to declare it first before we try to use it. And that's why we're throwing that error. So if we comment that out, then what happens, JavaScript goes through, invokes the function, and it sees that there's no A available within this block of code that's being declared, and it will revert back to the parent. So go ahead and try this out, and it does take some getting used to, so you can try it out, declare various variables, declare some variables within a function, and then use them within your code.